Hey guys, in this video we'll be discussing if the PlayStation 3 is worth playing in 2024. Let's find out. So the model of the PlayStation 3 that I have is the Slim CCH 25001A with a 160GB hard drive that can be upgraded to a bigger or faster drive. One month ago I bought this console for $100 at a local swap meet with a 6 axis controller, power cable, mini USB cable to charge the controller, a free game, and an HDMI cable which is a bonus because when the console was brand new back in 2006 till 2016 it came with an AV cable. All this for $100 is a steal because originally the console was $600 back in 2006 and today the console is cheap because Sony is now focusing on the PS4 till 2025 and her latest console, the PS5. What could you do with a PlayStation 3 in 2024? Besides playing PS3 games using the Cell and RSX chips on a maximum power, it can do more than that. You can play classic PS1 game discs on all models and with early fat models like the CECH A01 or the CECH E01, you can play PlayStation 2 software. The fat models can only play PS2 software because the early models had both the motion engine and graphics sensor sizer chips that were present in every PlayStation 2 until the later PS3 models removed the motion engine and relied on software emulation or removed PS2 compatibility altogether. If you are stuck with models of the PS3 that can't play PS2 software, with one USB stick and a few files on the drive you can mod your PlayStation 3 with custom firmware or HEN depending on which model you have. You can play a limited amount of supported PS2 games on your PS3. Not only that, you can load or back up your PS1 and PS3 games to your hard drive or a USB drive. Also, a few other cool things that I'll not explain on this video. If you don't want to mod your console, just buy games from the PlayStation Store or buy them on Blu-ray Disc secondhand. If you want to take a break from playing games, you can watch your old DVD movie collection or use Sony's greatest feature on the PS3, watching Blu-rays. The reason why Sony's greatest feature about the PlayStation 3 is watching Blu-rays is that if you wanted a Blu-ray player back in 2006, the PS3 was the cheapest Blu-ray player at the time and it was a game console as I said earlier. In conclusion, the PlayStation 3 is worth using in 2024 because it's cheap, more than just a game console, and a solid entertainment machine. If you are not the type of person who owns a PS3 yet, go and find one locally or online for sale. If you change your mind about owning a PS3, that's okay, not everything is made for us. Thank you guys for watching, share your memories about the PS3 in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe whenever I get a chance to make other videos like these. This is the Candy Cat Hearn 27 signing out.